Right, good evening, year six and parents. Um, I guess transition evening is, you know, it's one of our big highlights of the summer. It's when we kind of get you all in. Uh, it's usually quite an energetic evening, uh, but obviously a little bit different this year. But what, what I don't want us to miss is some of the really practical messages uh, that come out over, you know, these couple of days. So what we're hoping to achieve tonight is just, for me, welcome, you know, we're really looking forward to getting you back in September. That's our plan. Um, and just want to kind of let you get to know some of the key people that you're going to need uh, in terms of communication uh, so that you're all ready to go in September. Uh, just a little bit about what we've been doing uh, since the middle of March. Um, our attendance, particularly around year seven, has been about 90, 95% of our students have been uh, continuing their learning online. Uh, so we've been, our teachers have been uh, online pretty much every single day, teaching the lessons as normal with a slightly reduced timetable. That's been going really, really well. Uh, in fact, we've taught over 3,000 live lessons with, uh, by the time you, you, you're hearing this. So uh, really proud of that. And the community has come together very, very well. So if it comes to it and, you know, something happens in September and we have a combination of you on site or a combination of live lessons, uh, you'll, you'll absolutely be doing that. Uh, and we'll be ready for all eventualities. But as it stands, as I say, the plan is for you to be here in September. Um, I'm also conscious that you may have missed out on some of the things that you that you would normally have done um, at the end of year six. So, um, you know, we're definitely looking to audit that. You know, wh which trips have you missed? Uh, all the times you would have been here doing, you know, various sporting events. Um, so we are putting a plan together to try and fill in some of those um, gaps. Uh, and the other thing that I, I, I'm happy to commit to is that we will absolutely carve out some time for you to be in the building by yourselves at the start of the year. I think that's really important um, so that you can kind of get to feel, get a feel of the place, start to acclimatise uh, and not feel so daunted um, when, when, when we all start to come back together. So, so rest assured, we will absolutely have a transition plan uh, that we'll implement um, in September. Now, Miss English is going to talk to you uh, following me now in a minute, and she's going to give you some really practical advice about what you just need to know um, to get you ready. Um, so, that, so Miss will go through that in detail. She'll talk about the handbook, and, and, and importantly, she'll talk to you about tomorrow, because tomorrow is quite an important day. Uh, it's where you're going to meet the chapter leaders, your tutors, learn where you're going to be in September. Uh, so definitely, you know, if you, do, if you can't get on live tomorrow, make sure you're picking up on some of the recordings. Um, so from my perspective, the school really works in, in terms of five chapters. Uh, the first being Mandela, which I'm, I'm looking at now at school, and that's headed up by uh, Mr. Kingston. Um, so if you're in Mandela chapter, you'll find that out tomorrow and you'll get to meet Mr. Kingston and the team there. Uh, the next chapter is Brunel, uh, and that's headed up by, um, well, this year by Miss English. So uh, you're really lucky if you're in that one. Um, so you'll, you'll meet the Brunel team tomorrow. Uh, we've got a wonderful Dickens chapter uh, headed up by Mr. Scantlebury. And then we've got Lapper uh, chapter headed up by Mr. Fox. And then finally, last but not least, uh, we've got Nightingale headed up by Mr. Davis. Okay, so the, they're the five chapters, uh, all fantastic, all have really strong pastoral teams. So as you come in, you're coming into, I, I guess what will feel like quite a big school, but actually your chapter will give you that kind of family feel. And if you start to get to know those people over the next two days, uh, that'll be your point of contact when you start. Uh, it will give you, it will, it will reduce things right down for you. So you, we, we do run vertical tutoring. Uh, so there won't be lots and lots of you in the same tutor group. It may be just 10 of you in the same tutor group, something like that. So you'll get to know uh, the group around you really, really quite well. So, so that's why tomorrow is important. Um, and then I'd just say the last few things for me, you know, we're a very ambitious school. So that's, that's one of the most important things about us. Uh, our motto is aspire to achieve. Uh, and we take that really seriously. We come here to, you know, work hard, play hard, have a really good time and learn a lot. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised at how much fun it is to come to secondary school. So even if you are feeling a bit nervous, uh, in our experience, once you get in and you get started, it's a really great opportunity to spread your wings and let's see what you're capable of. I think you're going to have a great time and you're very, very welcome.
Hello, I'm Miss English and I've worked at SRWA for the last seven years. I am the transition lead here, which means I help prepare all of our Year 6 students for Year 7 and support them alongside their tutor and chapter when they start with us. Hopefully I've met some of our new students at our Professor Seago events and our after school transition sessions. If not, I look forward to meeting you soon. For the next few minutes, I'm going to talk to you about some of the detail on our transition day tomorrow and what will happen between now and the end of the academic year. Firstly, I hope you're excited about receiving information regarding what chapter you're in. This means you can now purchase the correct coloured tie. You should have also been told who your tutor would be when you start at SLWA. Where possible, you should have been placed in the same chapter as your siblings and chosen friends. However, where this has not been possible, for example, if friends both have siblings in different chapters, the chosen chapter will be that of the youngest sibling. If a chosen friend was not produced, we have placed students with peers from their primary school where possible. If students are not coming to SRWA with anyone from their primary school, we have paired them up with someone in the same situation, hopefully promoting new friendships. We are pleased our transition day is going ahead tomorrow and we are able to allow students the opportunity to meet their chapter teams. We welcome all Year 6s to join a Google Meet at 10am using the links below or the links in the transition bulletin. We have also sent the links to all primary schools in case students have returned and will be having their transition day in school. We ask all students to turn off their cameras and microphone for the duration of the meet. During the meet, Year 6s will learn more about the staff who lead their chapter and about the chapter itself. Students will also be able to see pictures of their form tutor, providing they are not a new member of staff. Following the meet, we welcome all students to write an All About Me letter to their new tutor and send this letter or a photo of this letter to transition at srwa.co.uk. Things students may want to include are about people in their lives, highlights of primary school, favourite hobbies and any interesting facts about themselves. In order for our new students to know the layout of SRWA's building a bit better, we have provided a virtual tour of our school, which we hope you find useful. You can access this from the link here or in the bulletin. At SRWA, we publish yearly handbooks for our parents and carers. Our Year 7 handbook is extremely detailed and we hope it answers any logistical questions you may have. As well as this, it provides you with an insight into students' upcoming curriculum. The link provided will direct you to our handbook. At SRWA, we use Arbor to store information about our students. Parents and carers can log on to Arbor to check their contact details are correct and review their child's attendance and behaviour. You will receive login details for Arbor before the end of the academic year. As a cashless school, we use a system called WisePay, which provides a platform to add money to students' accounts. Free school meal money will appear automatically. You will also receive your login details for WisePay by the end of the academic year. I hope I've provided you with some clarity as to what is going to happen next. I will now leave you with some of our Year 7 transition mentors who will tell you a little bit about their experience when they started at SRWA. Following on from this, you will hear from Paul Sanderson, who is our chaplain here and our student mentor. And finally, I'll leave you with some exciting images of some of the opportunities you can get involved in during the course of the next five years. This includes ski trips, Year 7 camps, Duke of Edinburgh, and even opportunities to go abroad and help those in need. If you have any questions regarding the information you have received this evening, please do not hesitate to contact me on menglish at srwa.co.uk and I look forward to meeting you all soon. Hi, I come from Seaside Primary School and began my journey at Sir Woodard in September. Picking Woodard was a hard decision to make as two of my closest friends were going to a different high school. The first day I was scared is bigger than my previous school. Now looking back, I don't know why I worried. Everyone was so nice and friendly. By the end of the week, I had made a whole new group of friends. I mostly like all my lessons, especially dance, science and art, as you do lots of practical learning. One of my reasons why I pick Woodard is because of the amazing clubs they offer. I enjoy football, dance and sometimes drama. My chapter is Mandela and my tutor is M2. I really like knowing that I have a place to go if I need help and somewhere to chill out at break and lunch. 
So far, my experience in Year 7 has been amazing. Can't wait for many more years here at Woodard. I live in Shoreham and the Sir Robert Woodard Academy was my first choice. Um, first, I'd just love to say how happy I am here and how so many great opportunities I've had since moving here. And, uh, one of these was drama. Now, I was lucky enough to be cast as Young Pip in Great Expectations, which was our Christmas production this year, one of three we do a year, which I think personally is a really great thing. And um, other great things that go on in the SRWA are PE, for example, football and basketball. And uh, both of these have clubs, which I attend to, and uh, I think they're one of the best clubs we have. And you can literally find, but other than those, you can, have, you can find pretty much a club for every single subject, from maths to dance to drama to science to pretty much anything. Whatever you're into, Whatever you like, you'll find something that you love at the SRWA. And um, another thing I want to talk about are the trips. So we have a number of trips a year for each year group. And uh, we've had quite a few this year in year seven. My favourite one was when we went to Dover Castle for the day. And um, we just walked around there, learnt about it. And that was pretty fun. I really liked that. Which leads me on to my final point about friendship. I made so many, so many friends on that trip, particularly. And as a kid from Shoreham, most of my friends from primary moved to a different school. So I was a bit nervous about the friendship situation here. That was my main worry. But I have made so many good friends and that's due to clubs and trips like Dover Castle and experiences and that it, and that's great because we have so many experiences and opportunities at the SRWA. Thank you. I love the Sir Robert Woodard Academy because it is an amazing school with wonderful teachers. I enjoy English the most because it's I used to not like it, but since I have been in secondary school, I love it. And this is because of all the stories we have looked at. Dungeons and Dragons was my favourite club. This is because I really like to use my imagination. I went to the Dance Your Way into 2020 trip, and I was very inspired by the other schools that dance there. Tutor is fun with games and reading. Each chapter has its amazing competitions and games. My tutor is L8, so my chapter is Lapa, and my tutor teacher is Miss Favell. For me, making friends was quite hard in some ways, but easy in another, because some of my friends came from St Nick's like me, and my tutor in class was a good way of waking friends. I was the only person from my primary school to come to SRWA. However, I have been coming here every Saturday morning since Year 4 for Junior Band, which is was a great introduction to the school and led me to becoming a music scholar for drumming. As you can probably guess, my favourite subject is music because it helps me to be a lot more confident. I haven't been on any trips yet, but I'm really looking forward to going on the performing arts tour next year. I, I love SRWA because it is so welcoming and it has helped me to become a lot less shy. Even though I was nervous at first, it helped me to make more friends when I realised that everyone was just as nervous as I was. I hope to see you all in September. Thanks for listening. Bye bye. Hello, I'm from Lapa. I've been explaining why I love SRWA and what lessons I really enjoy. The reason I love Woodard is because I made lots of friends very easily and I felt warmly welcomed when I went into my tutor group. My tutor, Miss Favell, also are amazing music teacher, warmly welcomed me and she was very nice to me. She was also very helpful. When I sat down in LA, the, the other students were very nice to me and we soon became friends. The two lessons I enjoy the most is maths and English, for many reasons. The teachers are amazing, the lessons are fun and they're very educational. I also enjoy food tech because 
we one week you would be cook you would be cooking and another you would be doing work in your booklets. I also enjoy PE because there are lots of activities <clears throat> such as football, rugby, basketball, and lots of others do. I really hope you come to SRWA. I look forward to seeing you. Bye. Hello Bye. Year 6 and welcome to Sir Robert Woodard Academy's Chapel. My name is Paul Sanderson and I'm your chaplain. And it's going to be my privilege to welcome you and be a part of the team that supports you as you settle into this great school. Welcome to my office space. This is where groups of one or two can come and just chat and go a little bit deeper in conversation about some of the things that you're living with. So this is your space as well. It's just next to the Dickens office and the door's always open and you're very welcome to come and just share what's going on. So this space is yours. It's yours to come and be still, to find peace, to hang out with your friends, to have lunch here, and just a place of calm and stillness in the busy life that is education. We have a heart for three main things through the chapel work. One is listening. You need to know that you'll be listened to. No matter what's going on in your life, in your head and in your heart, we're here, I'm here, to listen to you. And to encourage you as well in the art of all good listening skills. Then we want to inspire you. We want to tell you stories about some incredible people who get up to amazing things that change small bits of the world or indeed the world itself. And so we're going to tell you stories about inspirational people. We're also going to help you discover the inspiration that you are. And finally, we want to get you involved. We want to get you involved in things like Harvest Festival uh, and making a difference in your local community and indeed globally as you go through the years, the opportunities that are available. So it's going to be, I'm really looking forward to meeting you all in however it looks uh, come September. And I so look forward to showing you around all the things that we do here in the chapel. Take care. See you soon.